That's because I don't see the um, – I like the, the Bears, the only team, I'm just worried about them because the way Fields played, he ran for 100 and some yards on the – it's just like he's just cold athletically. I mean, he definitely – And then now he got some players around him at least a little bit now. Like last year, they ain't had nobody, bro. Let me, let's just go down the, uh, this schedule real quick. Hey, season opener against the Chiefs, bro. Upset. We, we taking the Chiefs down, bro. We, we we in Detroit or uh, we at Arrowhead? Ooh. Yeah. I think the Lions. I don't know, dog. I thought we could keep. I know we could keep up with them, though. Remember the first game last year we played the Eagles, thirty-eight, thirty-five. Hey, we beat the Chiefs. One sky's the limits, bro. Sure. I think we can get them off guard, man. Super Bowl hangover. Man. <laughs> hey, so then we got Seattle week two. We owe them a game. In Seattle? No, it's in Detroit. That's a tough game, though. It is. Bro, they got DK Metcalf, Lockett, and um, the Jeep to do from Ohio State. That's a crazy receiving core, though. Yeah. The Jeep. It's crazy to see if, if Geno Swift can do the same thing again because he had a great season, bro. Yeah, we got. he got to do it again, like I said. I think, uh, <clears throat> I think Seattle – Defense took a step back. I mean, they definitely did. I'm talking about like, they ain't not the same Seattle team, but uh, mean, they corner. It depends how good Jamari gives. If it's, I think he, I think he's good. Dog. I think he's gonna be good. Oh yeah, they, they. I heard they've been lining him up at receiver and everything, bro. He definitely about to get a lot of touches. So look out for Jamari Gibbs and uh, fantasy football for PPR leagues for sure. Right, and right. Um, Why well, you get a point per catch, right? L L Lamar don't even want to be there. I think they're gonna win. I think they beat them. I think they could beat Seattle. Hey, the Ravens got way tough, divi tough division. Bro, they they not even make the playoffs, bro. I think they are, but I, they might not though. Because everybody saying the Steelers, the, these people sleeping on uh, Mike Tomlin. You know, you got um the Ravens and the Bengals and the Browns with, with Deshaun Watson having a full training camp. Yeah, they might get three out of there. They might get three out that division, bro. <laughs> I think Brown, uh, Bengals and um Ravens. Let me see. Um what was I about to say? That division I Cincinnati gonna be better this year. They actually upgraded their defense. Uh Damn man, it's gonna be tough. I'll be all line, hopefully. I, I think I think just Deshaun Watts about to have a great season, bro. I think so too, and they act like he don't get. He got Amari Cooper, bro, and Nick Chubb. They got a squad, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns went to like the AFC Championship or something. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Watson back to his old self. So. I mean, yeah, he he missed like the first ten games, so right, and he didn't even have a training camp. So he <laughs> he got no OTAs, none of that, bro. No, or if, if the Ravens run it back, stay healthy, they definitely are contender. J.K. But, Dobbins, but the the Chiefs still. Number one right now. Because they're they about to get D-Hop, bro. If D-Hop was smart, he'd go to the Chiefs, bro. He got Imagine. to. But I heard, I heard Dalvin Cook and um, DeAndre have been talking, like, trying to see what team, until they can go to the same team. They both can go there. No, I don't want that to happen for the Lions, though. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the Chiefs need Dalvin Cook. No, uh, I'm, I think like, I like to do the Pacheco, dude. I, I think he's good enough. I think Dalvin Cook is Miami. You hear me? Oh, y'all forget about Miami, bro. That's a tough division, like you said. My Patriots, Jets, and um, oh, the Bills too. Patriots, Jets, Bills, and Dolphins, right? Say what? Patriots, Jets, Bills, and Dolphins. Yep. That's oh, that division hard, bro. Oh, for sure. That's definitely they all that one. They all gonna split. They all gonna go three and three. Even though the Patriots is not a contender, but you still gotta respect Bill Belichick. You know. Yeah, exactly. Cause they won, they ain't had no business winning the games. They won like they won like eight games, bro. Like they had no business. Back to the Lions, dude. I think they should. They beat us. They embarrassed us, right? Twenty four zip. Bills on the downhill. Yeah, I, I heard stuff about Diggs that happy right now, and Josh Allen made too many mistakes. So I'm definitely, I'm working with the Dolphins in that division, probably. If if two will stay healthy, if two will stay healthy, Dolphins definitely should win that division. Yeah, I think the Dolphins gonna go. I think the Bills will go like, I don't. I just I want to say ten and seven or eleven and six, but I want. I think the Dolphins will go like twelve and five, though. Well, and they got uh, Ramsey and Howard at corners, so. though. 
Yeah, good luck trying to get your receivers open. <laughs> I agree. Dolphins should win that division. And, and, and this is me not even looking at their schedule, to be honest. So maybe if I evaluate everybody's schedule, I'll be able to have a better. Opinion. Yeah, I was going to do that after. After I see what D-Hop going and Dalvin Cook, I'm going to go through the whole. If they got a similar, we could go through each game. I'm going to do that and then post my predictions. But oh. we got to see what Dalvin Cook, because he might go to a team. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you go to the Seahawks or something and they got him and Walker, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, though. I mean, they don't need – can Walker a, a workhorse, so – I don't think they need. To. Yeah, he's like a. That, that's yeah, he cold, bro. Perfect setup for him right now. Uh, and then week three, the Lions play the Falcons. If we lose to the Falcons, then our season's done. <laughs> Falcons say after we beat them, and uh, even if it's in uh, Atlanta, I think that's even better because we're playing in the dome, so we we straight. Oh, it's, it's at home. Oh yeah, that's a dub, bro. Oh, who the uh, who the Falcons quarterback? They don't even. I look oh, yeah. at quarterback first before I look at anything. They don't know who they gonna start because they they picked up uh my man from Washington uh and they also got that second year QB too. Oh, they got uh oh, they got Ritter. Desmond Ryder Desmond Ryder Taylor Hinky and uh, Logan Woodside. <laughs> hey, Honeyke actually is pretty solid, man. I think he he definitely gonna get rid of a run for his money for that job. Yeah. <laughs> Who got to think about who did they really have? Who he ain't had nobody to throw to but McLaurin. It was uh, the old boy number seventeen. He cold, but well, he ain't really played that much last year, right? And then it's like it's easy to game plan for them. Like you know, like he the best receiver. Just put two people on him, put a safety over the top. It's over. Because <laughs> Washington got some uh, weapons now. They do. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think that's that's a win, bro. I'm, I think I'm kind of biased to say we're gonna beat the Chiefs, but two and one at the worst on the first three games. <laughs> Yeah, that is crazy that uh, Atlanta drafted him that early. I ain't gonna lie, like he he good, bro. But Atlanta got way too many weaknesses to take a running back that early. Cause, yeah, because they are they they was like top five in rushing yards in the season. So yeah, because they had that dude. They had, had Corey uh, Patterson. And... Oh, the rookie. Yeah, I, I actually like the Falcons, bro. They're one of my favorite teams, probably. Like I'm the top five or six. Cause I like Pitts. I'm a Pitts fan. Tight end since he's been in college at Florida. So yeah, did they just picked up B. John Robinson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that too. Back and really say you have to get that many looks. So yeah, yeah. But you, you talking about uh, Tyler? Tyler Algier? Yeah, Algier. Yeah, he cold, bro. So and then just went with the big name. They did. That's why I should have took a big business player for sure, hundred percent. Everybody was tripping. Some somebody said everybody was tripping on Facebook about the Lions picks. And we, I seen Brad Holmes and them, one of them do an interview, and they were saying like, basically they just said they don't care what the mod draft said. They just picked the players that fit their system. And I agree with that because yeah, like, who cares what the mod draft said? <laughs> wrong a lot. <laughs> yeah, they be wrong, bro. <laughs> I always go back to Jokic because that's not funny. He got picked forty one. And they gave him Carmelo number. Like I thought he wasn't gonna be shit. <laughs> I bet eighty percent of the mock drafts when Jamarcus Russell was in the draft had him going number one. And then look, look what happened with that. Yeah. So, so I, said, I think the Jamar Gibbs picks are good because he 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 debunked the narrative that you can't take a running back that early because everybody be scared. Like unless it's Adrian Peterson, like somebody like that, then they understand. But like they always frown up when you pick a running back that high. <laughs> he said, "Who's uh, the sleeper?" Honestly, I do think Denver's going to do a lot better. Sean Payton definitely going there helps out a lot. I think that Russell Wilson season was a fluke. I'm not really go. He's not that bad, man. So that was pretty crazy to see that. We're talking about Russell Wilson, though. He's my top. Oh, I got I'm about to say top 15. If that's if you count all the old school quarterbacks, then he probably top 20. But I think, like, if you go, like, 90s and up, I think Wilson got to be top 15, bro. Let's see. Yeah, but, you know, this. This this last year's season not, not gonna get out of people here though, so he got to overcome that for sure. He do, he do. That's why I, I don't think he that bad, like you said. Man, he, he played that Carmelo Anthony out of here. That, that, that's why Jokic's the real number fifteen for Denver. <laughs> <laughs> and Melo gotta get. Dang, is he gonna get his surgery tire anywhere? Because Denver would be the one he made to the Western Conference Finals. I don't know. Two MVPs for Jokic and the Finals MVP and the chip. 
I definitely got Jokic. Jokic is my like top. I got him top. I got him in Giannis top thirty, but they got to do more for me to put him top, you know, ten or fifteen for now. Trevor, man, get get Russell another year, bro. <laughs> Uh, uh, let me see. Future, <laughs> hey, you, you a future bias, bro? He said future better than who? No, he said future put a hex on Russ. <laughs> he told Trevor. Yeah, <laughs> he, he he a future guy, so he just basically don't. He said Russell Westbrook basically like I mean, uh, Russell Wilson like basically like the enemy, dog. He going against future, so. But it's my sleeper team, though. Let's really think about it. The NFL. I'm yeah, I'm gonna just say the Browns, bro. Yeah, I actually agree for real. Um, wait, who the coach? I'm sorry, who the coach quarterback? I'm thinking like, hold on. Yeah, I know that they, they take Anthony Richardson, but I, I, I don't know if they got start him right away though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. I was about to say them, but it's like cause I like Jonathan Taylor. Derek and, um, Crash, bro. And Pittman. <laughs> you said what? Derek Carr, because uh, EP said the Saints. The only yeah, thing about Kamara, this, Kamara healthy, bro. I'm just saying, Kamara healthy. Think about this: Josh Jacobs had his best season of his career, led the league in rushing yards, and his sets. I mean, the Raiders still couldn't do nothing. So that says a lot about Derek Carr. Yeah. You you can't do that bad when you can get your running back leading the league in yards, rushing yards. Is Jacobs the best running back in the league. He led the league in rushing yards. That was his best season he ever had. Yeah, no, I think he he up there. I mean, I'm still not gonna say he better than Nick Chubb, you know. You got Chubb McCaffrey too. Christian McCaffrey cold too. Kamara, Kamara cold. Shoot, he just don't get enough. You know they don't. They don't give him a lot of uh, carries. All that much. Maybe some games where he get like, like under fifteen carries. I'm like, wow. Right, man. Under that's the point, bro. Like, come on, y'all doing my boy bold. Uh. <laughs> or maybe some running backs can't handle like you know what I'm saying how Walker get thirty carries, but look how you know what I'm saying look how how tall he is or whatever. How big he is for? Like, Dude, come here. I don't know. Commercial just took his suspension last year, bro. Honestly, he should. Bro. All right. So y'all, y'all think the J Jets making the playoffs? The Jets? I don't know, bro. I know it sounds crazy, but it's just the division, though. Like, and I feel like that's the only knock that you can say the division, because honestly, they they were very competitive last year, and they got a good defense. They got Aaron Rodgers, bro. <laughs> oh, beast! It's a Got hurt, but you had Matt White as your quarterback. You had that. I don't want to speak on that. They but. still won what nine games or eight? They almost made the playoffs to the last week. It was, of the season. It was seven to ten. I just don't. I can't put them over Miami because Tyreek Hill. That's too crazy, bro. Tyreek Hill and then Waddle on the other side. <laughs> right, and I feel like. Like I said, Miami, as long as two, they, they should be fine. Uh, the Bills, I feel like they still going to be good. But the AFC going to be stacked. Remember, only three teams make it. So, if we talking about the Steelers division, you got the Bengals, you got the Bengals, Browns, and uh, Ravens. All three of them good. Then you got the Jets, <laughs> Bills. One of them going to get left out for the wild card. Those two divisions is crazy. Yeah, sure. you, got three teams, you got six good teams in those two divisions. The AFC. East, East and the AFC North will be tough for sure. It's gonna be crazy, yeah. Yeah, I just don't see Joe Burrow not making a. I just don't see him not making a playoffs. I'm sorry. Cool, <laughs> Joe gonna get it done, man. Man, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, I, I I rock with Aaron Rodgers off the field, man. Like I appreciate his little darkness retreats and all that stuff. I feel him, bro, on that. So yeah, yeah. I just like at least he he consistent with his personality. He ain't faking it, like. You know how Tom Brady be all like, smiling and humble, and Rodgers be like, "Yeah, it ain't my fault. I ain't calling plays." Like, basically, like, nigga, it ain't my fault. <laughs> At least he's consistent, dog. Rodgers, yeah. His dark, dark history. Brady, most, Brady is like one of the most humble players I ever seen. Like Brady, like you I mean, he just won seven championships. They used to be asking him if he the great. He still be saying no. Like, he's like nigga, what? <laughs> I remember when he was in the league, he was saying Peyton Manning was the best. Remember Peyton Manning won the best uh, player in the NFL. And Tom Brady was like, I agree, basically. Like, he like he like if you look at what he's done in his career, like hey, I think Brady's just being respectful, bro. Like he respect Peyton Manning. Aaron Rodgers got got, got get, give me hippie vibes. <laughs> Man, I like that running back too. Uh, they got Mostert and um Jeff Wilson. They both fast, bro. Like 
Then you got Tyreek Hill with Jalen Waddle and Cedric Wilson. And you got shoot Raheem Mozart. He he ran like a four three in the combine. Yep. I think Jeff Wilson won the right. He was four three two, right? No, them three, three uh, Waddle, uh, Tyreek, and oh, Raheem. Yeah, I know three. I thought it was Jeff Wilson. No, it ain't Wilson. My bad. This uh, <laughs> Oh, they got actually. They got, speaking of Mike White, that's their backup. That's his backup. That's two of backup. So just in case. Uh, uh, so I mean, if you say the Bills, Dolphins, and Jets make the playoffs, and then Cincinnati, Baltimore, and Cleveland. That's no, I'm six. just saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying I only pick three. I only pick three out of those four. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah, yeah. out of those six, only you know, all of them not gonna make it because you gotta go to the other two divisions. One, two, three, four. Playoff spot though. High, high seven now. I like that a lot. Yeah, so out of those six, two of them gonna win the division, so that leaves four. So out of those four, only two of them gone, or three of them. What are the teams? You, got four. you said what? You got four division winners. Yes, yeah, so I, I think the um, I'm trying to think the Bills or the Dolphins, bro. I don't know. I think I take the Dolphins to win a division. Yeah, Rodgers go crazy, bro. I yeah, 40, 40, can't not put Aaron Rodgers in the play. I think one of them teams not gonna make it. The Browns or the uh, Ravens, one of them will get left out. We'll see. I don't think the Lions need to win a division because the NFC is really up in the air, bro. Because that all the NFC got all the best quarterbacks, bro. I feel like the NFC South is going to have only the, only the division winner from that. I'm taking care. Of, what who they got? Carolina, the Saints. Dang, he right though. Saints might make the playoffs. That division weak. Yeah, it's Tampa Bay. That division got time Brady. Um, the NFC West. San Fran, of course, is gonna make it. I don't know. I don't know how the Rams got bounced back, but they really knocking the Cardinals right now. So Seattle, I don't. We should be do better than Seattle. So I'm gonna say NFC West, NFC South should have one team. Yeah, you don't think the Rams going to the playoffs? And who knows, bro? I gotta see how Stafford looked the first few games. I know he was hurt, but he said he feel good, but we'll see. This is that extra motivation, though. It's hard to get up. Like, if you want a Super Bowl, it's kind of, I know it's hard, hard for them to be like, <laughs> let's do it again. Yeah. Like, you got paid. I got paid already, bro. Like, I'm going to put up stat, put up numbers, but it's like, I don't know. So, how about, how about this? So, for NFC South, one team. NFC West, one team. So, that's two spots for division winners. Then add two more division winners. That's four. Then I'm going to say the Cowboys and the Giants. They did it this year, so they could probably do it again. And then... I'll say the Lions and the Vikings. The Vikings offense is so high power, so they're gonna win games. Just yeah, even if they don't have that, Alvin Cook, Madison, pretty good, dog. Right, right. Oh, you talking about so the Eagles? Obviously, we got the Eagles winning. Then the Lions. I'll say who you got winning. Who you got winning the South so far? If, if the season started today, because I know stuff gonna change. You said who gonna win what? The South and the South. Yeah, division week. It was close last year. Seven and ten, seven and ten, seven and ten, eight and nine. I'm I'm gonna say Carolina, bro. That's what I was going to say, too, yeah. I'm going with Carolina, too. They said, what's name look good? CJ Stroud. So. No, they got, I, they got, they got Bryce Young. Oh, that's Bryce Young. What's, what, what's Stroud go? I can't, my bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I ain't seen, I ain't been looking at it since the draft been over. I ain't even really looked no more. <laughs> I'm sticking them. Because I feel like Carolina play good on both sides of the ball, too. I know they got McCaffrey, but, shoot, you got, uh, I know they got DJ Moore, but they got Adam Thielen. They got DJ Shark. They get, they gave Bryce Young some solid weapons. And then you look at the other teams in the division, I don't, I'm not trusting the Buccaneers with the offensive line. Um, and they don't got Tom Brady. Even with Tom Brady last year, they went 8-9, so it's like. And the, the Saints got, uh, Jamal Williams now, because I know, I know Elba Kamara will get suspended sometime this season, bro. Get that Miles Sanders, the um Panthers. Panthers. Get Miles Sanders. Oh, and her and Herbert. So that's a, that's two good running backs right there. So they got Allen Thien and DJ Shark and Terrence uh, Marshall Jr. He's decent for a third receiver. Then they got <laughs> Hayden Hurst too, a tight end. Did this for Corey. Even if Alvin Kamara suspended six games, you still got the Saints. He's he a homer. He a homer. I'm just asking. <laughs> he was born in the world or something. Yeah, he gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't no Saints fan, though. He a Ravens fan. Let me look at their depth chart before I speak too soon. Let me see. Thanks. Yeah, the Saints, because I haven't been on it. So they got Derek Carr. Bro, my, 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 like, 
like two games, bro. Yeah, I don't see Michael Thomas. Oh, they got Chris O'Levy from um, Ohio State. He gonna be he good, bro. Oh yeah. And they got Rasheed Shahid, Jawan Tom. Uh, they got Jawan Johnson and Foster uh, Maru from um, the Raiders. They got two good tight ends. Then they still got Taysom Hill too. Taysom Hill too, the third string tight end, and they got him as a quarterback too. I mean, it should. That's not be, good enough, man. I'm sorry, be, that's not good enough. Or, he probably think about their defense. They they probably got the best defense in the division. Yeah, and I feel like Carolina probably second. Right. Yeah, I think the South is Carolina. The uh, West is 49ers. Like you said, one team for East Division. Lions, Eagles. Then I think like Cowboys, Giants, and um, like you said, Vikings probably be the playoff team. Yeah, Philly and Dallas for sure. Yeah, Philly and Dallas for sure. Yeah. And then San Francisco. San Fran honestly will end up in an NFC Championship game again. It, it, honestly, this the seeding ma- matters so much, like, cause I don't, I don't want the Lions to have to play San Fran in the playoffs. Like, I, I feel like they always just outmatch first. Yeah, I, I just, okay. Yeah, a physical team like that, that slow our offense down. That's our strength for our offense. So, right. That's one team that's always like so competitive. That's, and tough to I'm not scared to play that. I'm not like I'm scared to play Fort Niners over the team. Just even though they got Mahomes, this is like. I feel like we can. They gonna try to play a shootout with. They can't stop us on offense, bro. Right, right. That's the Chiefs, but the 49ers, they got Nick Bosa, bro. Like, <laughs> enough said. And uh, Warner. But they loaded, and you got you got a great coach. Yep. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. the one team like they can just plug in any quarterback and still be good. That's what they've been doing. Yeah, I think people over they saying like Brock Purdy ain't gonna be there, so they ain't gonna win or something. It's like man. Party did go set. Party did go like seven and zero. He was like, seven. <laughs> he lost one game though his whole career. Oh boy, Brock Purdy got to come back, dude. <laughs> that was all off the defense and running, running game. Yeah. He said the AFC. I don't know about that. Hold on. The AFC South. I'm taking the Jaguars. Man, I ain't even that confident though, because because Tennessee. What's name met with Tennessee? DeAndre Hopkins met with the Titans. So. So the, the NFC South and the a- AFC South are by far the worst divisions. Yep. Because <laughs> I don't see, like, Houston. I don't see them doing nothing. It might be a surprise team, though, for real. But they ain't real young. The, the Colts always underachieve. Tennessee, they didn't do that good last year, but they usually somehow end up being a solid. The offensive line is terrible. That's probably why, um, what's name, retired. The Titans are lying. I'm glad Matt Ryan retired because they was they was having my boy looking bad, dog. <laughs> you know, I'm glad he just got out of there. The Titans were seven to three, and they finished seven to ten. <laughs> they finished, but they ain't got the best running back. Yep. Well, yeah, Henry, that's what I thought about. Yeah, what's name not better than Jacobs? Not better than Derrick Henry, right? But he yeah. cold though. He cold, sure. Shoot, Jonathan Taylor up there too. Well, he top at least top ten at least. He said injury. Yeah, he always get injured. I had him on my. He was my number one pick for the fantasy league. I got a. Yep. I'm gonna start just picking quarterbacks because like people say quarterbacks <laughs> ain't as valuable in PPR leagues, but they don't get hurt as much. Like it's like Patrick Mahomes played the whole season, bro. Like, yeah, Peter. Uh, I mean, you can take quarterback. My, I like taking QB later, but if I had to, if Mahomes is there, like in a fourth or fifth or something, I might think about it. Oh yeah, yeah. this year I'm just going all out. I'm going. <laughs> If I get the first pick, I'm taking Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> but but I can't get too many fantasy tips, man. I got people that's in my league watching right now. <laughs> right, because I had you know what I had I had Jonathan Taylor and Lamar Jackson. That just went bad because they both got hurt. Right. I remember when, that one year I picked Calvin Ridley. Like he talented, then he got suspended for the whole year or something. It's like man, come on, bro. <laughs> so yeah. So. But yeah, maybe we, we can wrap it up though, man. We just freestyled this. We just started talking about NFL, and we was, we was actually going into this talking about NBA, so that works. <laughs> oh yeah, you said talk about the NBA. No, I'm saying we actually went into this talking about the NBA, but we ended up actually covering the NFL. So, well, that's good. Well, that's the only thing. Yeah. So before we wrap it up, I guess we picked our division winners. So I'm gonna let you go first, bro. 
AFC East. Who you got winning that division? AFC East. I got the um, Dolphins. I got the Dolphins too. All right, uh, AFC North. Who you got? I got cool Joe, man. <laughs> I got the Bengals. Uh, I'm have, I might have, I'm gonna agree with you on that too, Cincy, for sure. AFC Jamar Chase is different, bro. You said what? Okay. Hey, Jamar Chase is is a beast though, for sure. Yeah. AFC South. I got, I got Jack, Jacksonville about to fall. They're gonna be good though. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah I see them doing better this year. They finished uh, on a five game win. Etienne, so, you're one of my favorite running backs too. Etienne. Yeah, he nice. And and Calvin Ridley, bro. Calvin Ridley. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit that dumb stuff. They offense is gonna be crazy, especially in that division. They gonna they might go five and one or six and all the. And then and AFC West. <laughs> Chiefs, bro. The Chiefs. My, my Even though the Chargers, they just they always underachieve for me though. I was like, dang, I picked them to go to the Super Bowl last year. Remember, he's like, they're not gonna beat the Chiefs, bro. You kept telling me. <laughs> like, on paper, it looked good, but they got a score. Right. Line, but... The Chiefs yeah. about to fall off that shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Barry? But uh, so we both agreed the Bills win. I mean, the Dolphins win. AFC. The whole AFC, we defend. Yeah, we got the whole AFC same. Cincinnati North, uh, Jacksonville the South, and then the Chiefs AFC West. All right, let's move to NFC, predicting our division winners. NFC, I'm yep. Boys, for sure, yeah. NFC East. Yeah. You got the Eagles? Yeah. Yeah, Jalen Hurts, man, he's still – he's young. He's going to play you – know, he's going to go hard. Uh, it's not like I just, it's not like you want to pick the Cowboys, bro. No, no, I just think they're going to they gonna compete, but no. Nah, I got the – I'm thinking about the – I go always go to the quarterbacks when it's a tie. Like, I got the Eagles, bro. Bro, I hope they get Chase Young, bro. That, that'll – That'd be a game changer. That'd be a game changer for sure. Because he already established, established himself. He just got hurt. So having him and Hutch on the edge would be crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> and I like uh, how we got some good DBs now. So our, that was our weakest part of the team. Yeah, I like about... having a collective, like I said, instead of trading all our, our picks for Ramsey. We got uh, none of them cornerbacks better than Ramsey, but we got more depth. We got good. I have to say we got the Lions winning in NFC North. Yeah, I got the Lions as well. Uh, NFC South, one of the worst divisions in the league. Panthers. I got the Panthers. Yeah, I'm going to rock with the Panthers, and I'm going to say Saints probably the movie to run her up. Uh, NFC West, it's the easy one. San Fran for sure. You don't believe in the Rams? No, I'm just playing. Let me stop playing about the Rams, but yeah. I got the 49ers, bro. Okay, with the Rams. Even if Stafford are healthy, <laughs> the 49ers still beat them in the regular season every time, bro. San Fran is good. They well coached. They got a good offense and defense. Can run the ball, control the clock. So, yeah, they did the most. They, it all depends what the quarterback do. It really don't, but. Yeah, Mahomes yeah. MVP again. I think that they'd be solid, bro. We got Garner Johnson. We got uh, Sutton. Uh. Mosley from um from the 49ers. But they all came from good defensive teams, so hopefully they can bring some of that energy over here. Uh, like defense. I mean, defense. I, mean, I get it. Defense is where it's at, but it's a new <laughs> league. It's like the Cowboys basically had a great defense. And look what they. You know what I'm saying? It's like look what they did. <laughs> you me? The corner we got Jerry Jenkins. He's pretty solid. I think the Lions. Uh, I just can't wait. I'm going off. Out of the home games, I'm like, out of the eight home games or whatever, I'm probably going to go to. Uh, wait, that's not like, that's division. That's not like 17 games. They play, I think they do eight home, eight away, and, eight, and one game in London. Everybody play one game in London. Went to the uh, the Lions play the Chargers this year, so I'm about to go to SoFi for sure to see that. Yeah, I like um, I like tailgating like with the Lions before the game. The Lions, it'd be fun, dog. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Even, even when the Lions have a loser, the Lions fans are loyal, dog. <laughs> uh, for real. No, oh, but I like our offense, bro. Marvin Jones Jr. You got um, Jamison Williams, and um, we're gonna be suspended for six games. We got and he's Saint Brown. I feel that though, man. I need to feel that, bro. I need him to. I need him to play the whole season, man. Because I'm, I'm looking at our wide receiver what, for anything as good as I thought it was without Williams. Without Williams, it's looking kind of like uh like Khalif Raymond and Josh Reynolds are all right, but. 
St. Brown, uh, bro. I probably got the Chiefs in week one. I forgot Jamison Williams ain't going to play. That's going to be a big – because we got St. Brown and have, having Marvin Jones as even number two is way different to have them as number three. Hey, I'm I'm just happy that the league finally giving us some respect. We got the opening game, bro. Like, right, dog. They ain't, it gets the Chiefs, dog. You can, they, that could be – like, you don't want to just go in there and arrowhead. You might get – not even talking about the Lions, but you can get embarrassed easy, like 44-7 type of stuff, dog. They might get a Super Bowl preview right here. <laughs> I hope so. So man, no, we make it. I don't want the. Uh, I don't want Mahomes to make it because he's too good. Uh, he might just. <laughs> hey. If we get to the Super Bowl, just don't let us play. I don't want to play against Mahomes. Let, let somebody make it like get lucky or something like. Hey, that's what we're thinking, man. That's we getting a playoff win. We'd be satisfied with that, but exactly. exactly. If we uh, like Super Bowl is kind of yeah for me, it's just like long. We got to win a division. I want us to win a division, get to the playoffs, and at least win the win the game at least, bro. Right. Right. Super for sure, man. We can, we can wrap this up, though, bro. Right for sure, man. All right. Peace out, y'all. Peace, bro. Peace, bro. Let's see.